Hello, I'm a student from Argyle Alternative High School in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is Argyle's Water Attitudes Educational Project. Thank you for participating in the Water Uses Survey. Watch the following video and please take note of what you can do differently. We need water to survive. It is essential to life. 50 to 75 percent of the human body is made up of water. Without water, we could not survive a single week. We need water for all kinds of reasons. For swimming, cleaning, drinking, cooking, growing plants, and more. As a boxer, training is hard work, so staying hydrated is essential. I love to paint, so I need water to clean my paintbrushes. Water. It's everywhere, but it is also a limited resource. Only one half of 1% of all water on Earth is drinkable. In some parts of the world, there's a water shortage. One in six people lack access to safe drinking water. Some of the places where water is predicted to be an extreme problem include Africa and California. Manitoba is a very unique place in the world in terms of water. Manitoba's 100,000 lakes and associated rivers and streams carry 900 trillion liters of surface water and cover 16% of the province. Do you know where your tap water comes from? Water is carried from Show Lake to Winnipeg by aqueduct. 8.8 .8 billion liters of water is stored in four large reservoirs. Unfortunately, we take our water for granted and misuse it. Three, two, one. Our pollution in Manitoba of our precious water is making life unsustainable. Did you know that two years ago, Lake Winnipeg was chosen as the most endangered lake in the world? Our farms are allowing runoff into the river which flows into Lake Winnipeg. Algae feed off these nutrients, killing off all of their life. There are two things we can do to improve our water situation. One, use less water. And two, stop adding things like harmful chemicals to our water. Manitobans use an average of 223 liters of water per day. There are many easy and simple ways to save water. By doing so, you save some money too. Grab a wrench and fix that leaky faucet. It's simple and inexpensive and can save 630 liters of water a week. When washing dishes, don't run the water. In the kitchen, fill one sink for washing water and the other for rinsing. Take showers instead of baths. A full bathtub takes up to 300 liters of water. Install low flow shower heads and faucets. Don't use a toilet as an ashtray or wastebasket. Use a commercial car wash that recycles water. Or wash your car on the lawn and you'll water your grass at the same time. Use runoff to water plants, lawns, and gardens. Use a broom instead of a hose to clean sidewalks, patios, and driveways. Minimize use of kitchen sink garbage disposal units. Use filtered water instead of bottled water. It takes six liters of water to make and deliver one bottle of water to your house. Store drinking water in the refrigerator rather than letting tap water run every time you want a cold glass of water. Reduce your water used for cooking. Finally, the other thing we can do to help our water situation in Winnipeg is to stop polluting the water. Stop using harmful detergents to wash your dishes. Stop throwing paint, oil, and other forms of litter down the toilet or sink. Reduce your consumption of pork. Pig farms are polluting our rivers. Never use pesticides or fertilizer on your yard or garden. Never flush medication down the drain. Get involved and start planting trees wherever possible. Trees make a huge difference both to our soil and to our water. Thank you for listening to why it's so important to ensure that we're doing everything we can to improve our city's water.